Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's get the mini game started. There are three different kinds of mini games here: 100 yard hop, bumper crop bump, and checkerboard chase. All are fun and deeper than they appear to be, though all are very simplistic to the point that anyone can play them. And of course, one and computers three. Like, oh, okay, they're gonna choose them randomly. Okay, there's four different levels that you can have here. There's easy, normal, hard, and intense. You unlock all the other levels as you beat each level below it, basically. So, I'll show you what I mean here. For this one, you press A to jump two spaces forward, and B button to jump one space forward. Just look two spaces ahead to see if there's an obstacle in your way, it two spaces ahead, because you always want to jump two spaces unless there's an obstacle there, and that wasn't fair. <laughs> there's no way to avoid that obstacle, but whatever. Oh, and there, you couldn't avoid that one either. Oh, come on, that's just mean. I suppose everyone's, oopsie, everyone's facing the same obstacles as I am, so I guess it doesn't really matter in the long run. <sighs> Dang puddle plus frog combo. And needless to say, you're going to have a very easy time on easy. <laughs> I mean, the computers are still going and I'm already done here. So let's just watch them play it all. Oh, it looks like pinkish Waddle Dee there got to the finish, and then Red Waddle Dee, uh, Adeline, I mean Adeline finishes last. Pardon me, I don't know why I said Adeline for some reason. Now yeah, whatever. And I'm the winner. Okay, I'm gonna do the uh, next difficulty up. Uh, I thought you could select difficulty if you selected play again. Play another game then. Fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, whatever. Normal is unlocked now. And go! Needless to say, there's also a change of scenery depending on uh, which level you check. And the, the obstacles are also slightly different as well. But the, the, con pff, the concept is still the same. Just look ahead, jump two spaces most of the time, and you'll get it. Oh, I see the frog jumps forward a little bit. I forgot about that. Whoops, banana peel. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Keep going, Kirby! No banana peels! Dang it, Mario! Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm just failing. Dang it, Mario Kart! Your influence is everywhere! And that still wasn't that hard to win. <laughs> Alright, who's going to finish second? Who is going to finish second? Red Waddle Dee? Pinkish Waddle Dee? Yeah, yellow Kirby! I'm the victor! Yeah! Another game because they won't let me change the difficulty. <laughs> Hard! Let's go! Jump! 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 Go! Uh, uh. Yeah, this is what I mean about it being very simple to understand, but you gotta be careful, and it's, as I said, a little bit deeper than it, it, it may appear to be because you can't. Ugh. I mean, you it's obviously a race. <laughs> But you can't, you know, you can't be too haphazard about your moves because, yeah, you're gonna jump into one of those hay pits or a puddle or into a frog or a banana peel. It's, yeah, it's one of those kinds of things. And I still won. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is I didn't practice any of these before I made this walkthrough, so I'm just like, I'm just somehow playing well. Or I should say well enough to beat the computers. Yeah, another game, and I apparently did the best score I ever did so far in this, and intense! Oh man, look at this beautiful scenery! Oh boy, now, the, now there's no puddles, it's just water and ogies, and turtles that pop in and out. Uh, oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, intense also changes the obstacles to the point that they would be a little bit trickier to comprehend as well. Like, you sometimes have to time yourself with the turtles, as you had to do with the frogs and other areas. Oh shoot! Didn't mean to do that! Oh no! <laughs> Dang turtle diving back in the water! Oh no, I failed! I failed and I jumped on the lily pad. It was because of that really, really bad start there. I wonder if I should do this until I beat the, um, intense computer here, because all these minigames are really short. 
And I like to kind of fill out the parts, so to speak, by showing myself, you know, getting as far as I possibly can, you know what I mean, but without cluttering it too much, I, I guess I would like to say, I, I, I don't know really. <laughs> I just kind of don't want to make the part too short, especially since these mini games are pretty fun. No, dang lily pad! Oh, must not trust lily pads, nor fish. Oh shoot! Why did I do that? Jump one, jump two, jump one, jump two! No! Waddle Dee... Waddle Dee... Waddle Dee beat me. And... Oh, poopers, I finished last! That one is pretty tricky. Well, at least in comparison to the other ones. Wow, that, that Waddle Dee there, he was flying! Look at the score compared to the rest of us. <laughs> Alright, one more try, I suppose. And go! Urgh. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that was like the worst start I could have possibly had. Durr. Always try to jump too if you can, as I said before. Ooh, and I see that they um, moved you further back on the screen so that you, whoops, so that you can see further ahead. That's, that's pretty helpful, actually. Like, on the easier stages, you couldn't do that. Oh, no, DDD. <laughs> Clearly intense is definitely intense, but... The computers didn't seem to be uh, as spaced apart as the last battle. Come on, I can get this. Arr, I've beat these before. Go! Mm. Mm. And uh, I cannot fall on the lily pads. Be vigorous. Maybe it's because I'm moving faster that the screen is kind of keeping up with me. Dang it! <laughs> it's like, you know, when you press the button, you know you did something wrong before you even land on the trap space. <laughs> oh, jeez, no! And it's so easy to just keep pressing the same button because, you know, you're just instinctively pressing to move along. Yeah. Arr. Arr. That, that Waddle Dee in that one was just amazing. And that, I mean, that it managed to get uh, 29 seconds. Come on. Oh, shoot, why did I do that? Ugh. It's gonna cost me the race, probably. And, oh, now I'm just failing all over the place. Maybe I should just go. Yeah, maybe I should just go to the next game. <laughs> I've lost all concentration at this moment. So, bumper crop bump. And yeah, of course, easy. The objective is to catch the fruit in your basket and bump people aside by pressing the A button like so. And what you want to do is bump them out of the way as a piece of fruit is going inside their basket so that what happens is that it lands in your basket, basically. Eh. And you got to be fairly close to someone to uh, bump them out of the way. It's, it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> It takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of it, and if you don't do it right, you actually get bumped away from whoever you're trying to steal fruit from. It's uh, more competitive than the other one, because the other one was based on more of a mental thing, because you weren't actually competing with anyone. I mean, you were, you know, in the sense of racing, but I mean, you weren't actually trying to psych people out, you know, you're you're not directly affecting their outcome, you're just hoping that they're going to mess up or something, <laughs> uh, as opposed to this one. It's, it's, the other one is like golf in a way, in that, you know, you, you are playing against somebody for score, but you aren't playing, like, your moves will not affect the opponent in the slightest, that sort of thing. E. E come on. Fruit in my basket is delicious. I will collect the most fruit. Dang it. Oh boy. It's the final rush. When it starts shaking like that, they start dropping like crazy. Dang it. <laughs> and you can also avoid a bump by just moving away from whoever's trying to bump you last second. It's It takes practice to get the hang of that, but I, I assume I'm going to do well until I reach the intense level once again. <laughs> That's just my guess, based on how much 
more intense the intense level was. And uh, there's also going to be um, traps introduced in later levels of this, in that you will have to uh, not catch certain things. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. Alright, but for now, let's just get the fruit in this beautiful autumn scene. Oh, bomb! Bomb! Do not get the bomb! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you actually lose fruit out of your basket if a bomb hits you. I'm not going to try that, though. <laughs> if you, um... If you were to uh, switch an opponent into a bomb, that's another strategic move that you can do. Like, if you were to say, push Adeline into a bomb using the bomb power, yeah, you would be able to disrupt her. And you, you get what I mean here. It's, it's as I said, a little. all these minigames are a little bit deeper than they initially appear to be, just by uh, mechanics alone. Well, everything seems to be going pretty well, as, as you can tell, I got the hang of this minigame again. Because the first run was me flopping around, getting the feel of it all over again, but now I'm I'm dominating. <laughs> there we go. And oh, it's the fruit rush of the ages. I also noticed that the um, uh, whenever you flip an, an opponent, they get stunned for a little bit. Same goes with you, so that they can't do anything. That can also be used strategically to prevent them from doing anything in specific. And also notice that they keep track of the uh, the wins there uh, for all the games in total using those stars there. Yeah, it's it's not really no <laughs> another difficulty. It's a it's just another um, factor of playing a little bit deeper. You know what? Maybe I will switch characters. What the heck? The characters don't seem to have any difference or special traits. So you don't really have to worry about choosing uh, the right character for the right game or something like that. Oh, come on! I was right there by that heart peach. <laughs> eh. And you can also shift your way through a whole bunch of computers at once, like just by mashing the A button like crazy. And you can get to the other side faster than other computers at times if you take advantage of that like that. Okay, this is definitely a lot trickier because the computers are more... Aggressive! <laughs> Just the way I like it. How all that? Got a little intense on the 100-yard uh, hop. <laughs> that, that was pretty evil, actually. <laughs> Dang it! No! How dare you steal my fruit! I'm still in the lead, but it's, it's a much more equal battle compared to the other ones. Because even, even when I was playing it on easy, and when I was, you know, trying to get the hang of the level again... Eh, come on. Oh, and yeah, opponents can't, like, bump you out of the way on the edge of the screen. It's kind of interesting. Like, if you're pressing to the, to the left on the left side of the screen or right on the right side of the screen. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. It, it's... I don't know why that is, but it just seems to work that way. I don't, maybe it's like a bug or something. <laughs> Uh-oh! Fruit Rush! And I'm in second! Oh, boy! Must get in the lead! Maybe I should be trying to disrupt the one with 12 there. The best I possibly can. No! Well, mm, it's it's working out okay. Ah, there we go. Yay! And I'm probably going to fail on intense once again. You don't get anything if you beat all the uh, levels in here. It's just it's just a matter of fun and just unlocking the levels. So there isn't really anything special for doing so. Oh, we got some gems this time, and I forgot to switch my character. Oh well. <laughs> Look out for the bomb gems of death! Oh, I got bumped into it. Oh, shoot. Come on. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty intense game, actually, because, and it, I mean, uh, you can set things up in rather quick fashions, and, and there's some things that you just can't really avoid, and some things that you can't uh, catch at times because of the frantic nature of this game. Oh! See, like that, we, we are both aiming for, I mean, we are all aiming for that. Uh, yellow gem there, and we all missed it because we were all flipping each other off to the sides. No bomb! Dear lord! <laughs> eh. I just got flipped all the way to the other side. Dang it. Eh. Oh, how dare you! 
still a pretty equal battle for the most part, I guess. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Let me... No gem! <laughs> ah, there we go. Still pretty equal. Oh, this is getting impressive. <laughs> I feel obligated if I beat this to actually beat that 100-yard hop on uh, um, Intense. And, oh, I was... I was holding left at the edge of the screen there, and it, he still was able to bump me out of the way. Maybe it's maybe it only happens sometimes then. Oh jeez. And whoop! Oh come on! Yeah. I see that the computers also plop themselves in a way that makes it harder for you to uh, get a gem, even if you bump them out of the way. It's pretty interesting how strategic they are. And I actually won. Wow. Guess it's that 100-yard hop that's getting me then. <laughs> Another game, because I covered that. This is probably my favorite of the three here. The Checkerboard Chase. Uh, what you do is you drop blocks in a line, and I'm going to switch characters this time while I remember to do so, and you try to make characters fall off the stage. Like that. And you can do this, oh geez, a numerous di different kinds of ways, and everyone has five lives. Oh shoot, I missed. Oh shoot, I missed terribly. I gotta use this. <laughs> and obviously, the one you know, left standing is the winner after this. And oh jeez, no! Poopers! Down is death. Even in these mini games. But that should be implied. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's all it's done. Oh no! And when the time starts getting. I mean, it gets later in the game. The edges of the game board break off, and that computer just, wow, the computer is definitely very, very easy on easy. <laughs> Who would have guessed, you know? One more... just... just go down, there you go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, numbers are all in order, that's interesting. Another game, difficulty change, and I'll pick Adeline, normal go! There isn't really diff any real difference between the uh, levels, other than the coloration and the background and stuff like that. And normal computer is definitely much, much better. But I must play strategic. You can use blocks to like block opponents in, and just like cut into them line by line like this. And, oh god, help me! I'm trapped! <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's what you can kind of do, is trap opponents using the lines as well. Like, you don't have to um, be aiming directly for the computers all the time. You can use these lines to entrap the opponent. Oh god, we're gonna kill each other, or not. <laughs> and that's, as I said, another part of the uh, slightly deeper aspect of these mini-games that, you know, that, that appears at first glance, and oh, I thought he, that she was going to go further to the uh, south, but no, that did not happen. Oh god. Oh, well, she's trapped there, so I might want to take... Ah, oh, too late. I was gonna say take advantage of that, but I couldn't. Oh jeez! No! Help! <laughs> I must... I must survive! I must... do this! I can't lose on normal, can I? Well, I suppose I could. They have one life left each. I have two. So odds are still in my favor, and they can't do anything about me right there at, at that time period because I was um, in the middle of a block uh, combination that there is not uh, blocks around me to be able to hit that spot. Oh, it's a draw! Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> Will this actually unlock the next level? It might. Oh, oh, it did. Mm, I'll just pick her. No, I'll, I'll keep variety going. It did a lot unlock the next level, so I will take it. <laughs> I didn't play as Waddle Dee much before, but so here we are. Wow, they just really kill themselves quickly there. No! Or at least lost one of their lives quickly. They didn't really, you know, die out completely. That's part of the game here. Oh no. Oh no. Block regenerate. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like to be trapped in a situation like that. Uh, it's also a good thing to time your shots while your opponent is shooting theirs, because what happens is that when when you're shooting a shot, oh shoot, 
when you're shooting a shot, what happens is that the they get I mean, you get stunned for just a second or so while you're shooting. So what happens is that you end up uh, being able to catch the opponent off guard, and that's another part of the deep aspects of this game here. Well, a slightly deeper aspect of this game is in that it has a little bit more strategy than meets the eye. Haha! -ha. No! I don't know. Oh, used this, she used the same tactic I was using on here. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's one versus one, baby. One versus one. Well, in light counter. Oh, yeah! The winner! Will I be able to do this on intense, though? That is the question. Maybe. Dang it, I didn't want to choose Kirby again. You know, it kind of makes sense to use uh, um, King DDD for this. Because it's like, don't break the ice or something like that. You know that board game. Oh, my God! <laughs> I was just, uh, I was trapped immediately. That was just a bad start, but at least uh, one of the computers went down with me. Uh, another strategy that you might want to try is actually not doing anything, but just dodging attacks and letting them fight it out against each other. Oh, if you can. Sometimes, you know, you can make mistakes or get trapped in certain ways and stuff like that, yeah. It, it just happens with this game. It's it's a part of the gameplay. Oh, what am I stuck on? Was I stuck on her? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, dude. And as you can tell, oh, this is definitely a lot more intense than the other ones, as the name states. But there's still no difference in the gameplay whatsoever. Oh, I was so close to getting her. Oh, oh, that worked out nice. It was like a team effort, even though it still wasn't all that... I mean, we aren't on the same team, but I mean, you know, it just it just went that way. All right, this, this is gonna come down to the wire here. I just oh boy, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Gotta keep my enemies trapped. No oh, help! No, I couldn't escape it. I came in third. I should probably give that another try because that was a that was a pretty good match actually. Let's see how this turns. Oh jeez, it's a draw. <laughs> I just see when they faced each other and they just they, they swung their wand or whatever the heck they used to cause that to happen. Well, they don't use like a wand, but it's, it's there's certainly some sort of shockwave that they cause that that causes these to fall. It's, you can't really. I mean, I can't really tell what. No, shoot! I aimed the wrong way. Oh, I'm already doing badly. Although everyone's losing lives pretty quickly in this one, so maybe it's. It's not that bad after all. <laughs> I'm gonna try and trap you if I can. Oh, poopers! I wasn't paying attention to underneath me. Oh, no! <laughs> mm. Help! I only got one life left. Well, it's. Oh, I'm doomed. I got trapped because of the border. And that computer is just like spazzing out there. Another draw! Wow. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, they have. <laughs> They had um, uh, two lives left each, pardon me. I looked at the life counter there and I seen that it was one and I was thinking, oh, it's going to go down to zero, but no, that wasn't the case. Uh, I'm going to switch characters, actually. King DDD is kind of large. <laughs> I, I mean, he doesn't play any different than the other ones. It just, it just that he feels really large to play with. Eee! That was a quick life loss. It's kind of hard to... Um, Picture where you are, ugh, where you're gonna fall off. I mean, start out from. Like when you, whenever you die and you get uh, respawned back on the screen, it's kind of difficult to figure out where you're going to be, and you have to kind of recover quickly. Otherwise, you know, that uh, somebody's gonna shoot you right off the bat. And I also notice that the blocks fall when they touch the edge of the screen. No. Oh! So they won't fall. I mean, they won't start falling until the blocks, the block line touches the edge of the screen. So, oh jeez. So you're better off um, shooting in a way that is close to the computer, and just so that they don't have enough time to recover and whatnot. Oh, please help me! Oh, I was totally trapped in that small block area. It's like uh, after I play the game a few times, I tend to. Lose all concentration whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to the um, 100 yard hop and see if I can beat that on intense ones. 
then you come back to here. Maybe. You know, like with a fresh mind since I took a break from the other game and... Yeah, so I'm gonna do that and... Oh dang, why'd you take me back here? 100 yard hop! Oh wait, no, I'm fine with Kirby, whatever. Incense! Oh, what? Why is my buttons not buttoning? Like, I was pressing the button and I wasn't moving. It was kind of kind of odd. Maybe my batteries are running low or something like that. Or maybe I'm not hitting it crisp enough. Like, you know, you sometimes have to hit a button like right in the center of it, the register on some controllers. I don't know. Mm. Oh, shoot, why did I do that? I seen the frog and I actually aimed for it. Aim for the... I won! <laughs> and I, I didn't perform better than I did in other ones, I just simply won because the computers didn't play nearly as good as they did in other rounds of this. Wow. <laughs> Alright, that's good. So I, I guess Intense on Checkerboard Chase is the only thing I have left to beat here. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna let the computers duke it out here and see if I can get them to reduce their own life here. Just to see how things go. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna aim for any of them, I'm just gonna let them kill themselves, basically, unless I see an opportunity of sorts! Ah, I was trapped. But that's okay. It still got me a little bit ahead. Well, maybe not, because this, the second player there has all five lives still. Oh, jeez! It's tricky to survive even as such. <laughs> oh, oh no, please not in the corner. Why? <laughs> Try to stay away from corners if you can, but it's so hard to do so when they're cutting away blocks from the center. And they're just walking me right over to the corner, aren't they? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> -ha. And I am not well, I was gonna say I'm doing the worst, but third third player there was doing pretty badly as well. Apparently. Second player and the fourth player are, uh... <laughs> they did surprisingly well, even, even, uh, Crossfire there. Oh boy, this might be down to the wire. Oh no, it's not. Second player is the winner, and I am the loser. Well, not the complete loser, but... Still not first place. Ah, I must get this! I must! And by the way, before the, the game starts at all, you can, like, move around to be able to, um, strategically place yourself before the game starts, because, you, you know, you gotta, gotta look ahead where the computers are and see where you want to be in order to set things up. Dang it, I'm stuck on the computer. <laughs> it's very easy to get, um, like, right next to a computer, and then what happens is that they, um, dang it, kill each other. And what happens is that we touch each other at the same time, and we can't move. Well, at least I can't move. The computer seems to be pretty good at getting the hang of circumventing that. <laughs> Me? No, no, not in the slightest. But it's it's a it's a feel thing that I just gotta get the hang of, I suppose. I'm gonna try. Oh, geez. Well, I'm safe in the corner because of the way they cut the blocks out. Yeah. Oh, geez. No, no, no. I don't think there's any way to recover faster from. Um. Oh, shoot. Like when you're shooting, I don't think there's any way to recover from your shot faster so if you can start moving. I don't know how else... Oh, unless, I mean, it seems like the computers recover faster than I do, but I think it's because they're just um, more strategically using their shots than I am. Durr. I'm getting nowhere, nowhere I say. Oh, jeez. Uh, I see you can use your, your own body to trap opponents as well. I didn't notice that, so maybe that is a, a part of the game that I was missing before in my strategic operations. <laughs> oh, jeez. Must escape before it's too late. Oh, no, no. Oh, by the way, you can't move diagonally either. You can only move in lateral, lateral directions, so... The D-pad is indeed your friend as usual. And things are looking pretty decent. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, that one. Ooh. <laughs> Get him off the corner. No, I wasn't paying attention to the yellow. Wow. I'm third again. <laughs> These games are so fun, though. <laughs> I've been playing for, like, what does the camera say, 29 minutes or so? That's what I'm guessing based on what I have to cut off the start and whatnot in the editing later. Yay! Well, at least he's happy. <laughs> Just can't break third place. Durr! Bring it on! Ugh! And I'm already kind of trapped. <laughs> They're very good with their moves, that is for certain. Oh, geez. And yeah, they do push themselves into you so that you can't really move. It's interesting. I didn't notice how good they are at doing that. <laughs> um, oh yeah! Gotta predict the movements. Gotta predict... The movements. Gotta watch the whole screen at once. No! Well, it was kind of a double kill there, whatever. Losing lives in this game is pretty much inevitable. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I'm in last. And I'm on a block that's... Uh, that was my worst run yet. <laughs> I think that's the first time I got fourth. No, wait, maybe I didn't. Maybe I got fourth on another one. And once again, I'm watching the computers duke it out. It's sad. So very, very sad. Yeah, I was doing... I mean, I'm doing... I do find the other difficulties, but the intense is truly intense. And I have a feeling that the green computer is going to win this. Yep. Because it, the, the computers tend to, like, killing each other on the last run there. And when the life, the life counter is uh, une unequal, it tends to be a, a one-sided fight. And, no oh shoot, that was just terrible planning on my part. Oh, that actually worked out, never mind. Maybe I should be shooting, like, more on the edge of the blocks. So that I can run to the edge of a block. Like, rather than shooting in the center, I have more time to... Ugh. More time to recover, basically. Yeah, so I don't... I'm not on a block when we are switching sides of a block attack, so to speak. Eh. Oh, jeez. I think that blue one did it on purpose. <laughs> uh. No! No! <laughs> okay, I, I definitely can see the strategic value of uh, pushing yourself against an opponent to make sure that they can't move just as you can't move. To defend yourself in those tight situations like that. Ooh! Oh no! Not in the center! You should not shoot in the center, ever! That's bad movements. No! Dear Lord! Fresh pressure is on! I got one life left. Eh! I'm still... Oh. <laughs> Fourth place again. I could just, like, do that and then, like, play again. But I'm, I'm always curious to see how the, the computers will fare. And it would kind of offset the score count anyway. <laughs> Third player is the winner! And notice they're playing this in outer space, up, like way, way, way above Popstar. Yeah, what? <laughs> I was gonna play another game, but why would I do that? I must beat them on intense! Must trap computers! Oh, geez, I trapped myself. Well, sort of, because I wasn't looking at the computer down at the bottom of the screen, and yeah, I kind of got myself. Oh, that worked out. I got myself trapped in a situation that the computer seen that I was shooting, and that, as I was shooting, yeah. Oh no, I didn't pay attention to Waddle D there. Dang it! So much to watch at once, and that's part of the challenge of this game. <laughs> oh, how dare you! Oh, eh. no! Oh, geez, that was close. I was like trapped five times there, and I still managed. Oh no 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 no! no, no. Well. This is not going to be another victory for me, is it? <laughs> oh! Well, maybe it could be. Oh! No! Oh, they're so good at trapping you! <laughs> it's 
because it's still possible to recover from some situations. And they even got a trapping you in the center, too. That's... Like, it's not, it's not like they're pushing you to the edge, like, walking you over, such as you would do with a rook and a king or something like that in chess. They're actually good at just doing that off in the center of the screen. Ugh! No! Help! Oh, I was gonna say, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. Hmm, this is actually turning out to be a pretty decent match, actually. Ugh. That was a defensive move on his part, actually. <gasps> oh no! No! <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Yeah, it could be a draw. I've never seen a four-way draw on this one, because the chances of that is ridiculously low. That would be pretty funny to see, like, all first place on there. I beat this before, and I can beat it again. Come on. It's definitely counterproductive, actually, to not be shooting at any blocks. Because it allows the computer to shoot and, uh, and trap you with stuff. So maybe I should just be using the... I mean, as another strategy is to use the blocks in a defensive way. That was a very clever move. <laughs> Dang it. That was also a clever move. Oh no. Why was I standing on that? Uh, now I'm just practically suiciding at this point. No! Uh, I've always got to look for the way out if possible. While I am shooting at the same time, just to you can always watch all characters at once. Oh boy. Oh no! <laughs> yeah! Oh man! This is the hardest one! <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if I should, ju should just press try again to speed things up, but as I said, I'm really curious to see how the computers go at it. Ah, an old habit die hard, I suppose. And it's green versus blue, and that likely means blue is... Oh my god! I was gonna say blue is going to win, but maybe not. Oh wait, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what color which had. Pardon me, my mistake. All right, let's do it. And instant death right off the bat. Ugh. Definitely, definitely shoot at the cross lines, like rather than standing in the center, because it's easier to get off the blocks that are about to fall if you do that. Oh, shoot! Um, respawn me. No. <laughs> must relax. Must take control of the situation. No, Waddle Dee, how dare you? Well, red reddish Waddle Dee. Ah, such a hard game to master. <laughs> I think I got Adeline there, yep. Okay, respawn blocks. <gasps> Dang it, there's no way to escape that one. Yep. No! Gotta get over to... There we go. Now you definitely don't want to be trapped in a line like that, if at all possible. <laughs> that might have been one of my better runs, because of the fact that computers were getting low in life as well. <laughs> but I mean, even though I got fourth there, I mean... That it was a lot closer than it was in usual rounds. Oh jeez. I just let myself get trapped so easily, and it's so hard to lose focus. Just gotta concentrate. Gotta win! For the million dollar prize that doesn't exist. Oh no! I hate when they do that, that's just so mean! <laughs> Perhaps I should be standing on blocks, computers are on while they shoot. That's, that seems to be like a, a slight possibility to do based on the... Ugh. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just going to do that until I win. This seems to be a possibility that um, you can take advantage of to save yourself. Aha! 
Alright. Just gotta watch. Maybe I should just, like, divide and conquer. Like, aim for one computer at a time, rather than all four. Aw. Oh. Like, what I'm trying to do is keep everyone at bay, but what happens is that I kind of uh, lose track of people at points, and I should be focusing only on who's a threat, basically. And cut into the blocks that, you know, oh, jeez! You know, that would have a strategic advantage in order to trap the computers to their doom, hopefully. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think that was avoidable. <laughs> oh, I didn't know where I was spawning from, and I just kind of derped there. Boy, it really cuts off the edges in the intense level a lot faster than it does in other levels. <sighs> Come on, get the hang of this PK Gam! Wow, that was just a terrible start. <laughs> Perhaps I don't have as much grasp on this as I think I might have. Come on, respawn blocks, respawn! Eh. Oh, I'm safe here. <laughs> like, you can use the blank spaces that you see the computers don't have any control over, you know, walking onto because you can't shoot across them to defend yourself. Oh, shoot. <sighs> oh, geez. Well, that worked out kind of well. Strategic move there. Save myself. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thought I had him there. Because <laughs> you'll notice know, I'm trying to concentrate more and I'm talking less. That's kind of purposeful. <laughs> yes! Oh no! So close. Oh yeah. Okay. Come on, this could be last round if this. How did that. How was that Waddle. How did that Waddle D save himself there? What? What did it. Because it was a spawn point or something? And they, get, they last longer time than normally? Or something? Oh god. Oh my god. Down to the wire. <gasps> oh Jesus. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. And it keeps going until someone loses. There's no end to this until a loss. There's no such thing as a time limit. Yes! I win! <laughs> About time! And with that, I'm gonna end off this part because it's gonna be pretty long. <laughs> I'm not gonna split it or anything because, you know, all the minigames should be in one part, or at least I think so. So watch it in sections if you like, though. You probably got the hint of that, or I'm gonna write it in the description or something like that. Because you're obviously not gonna see this part of the video until you get to the end of the video, so I don't know why I even bothered saying that. <laughs> but I am pleased that I beat him on all the levels, on all the diff I mean, in you know, all the minigames and all the difficulties. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.